In today's video, I will show you how to connect your charts with Google Spreadsheets in WordPress using Chartify plugin swiftly and effortlessly. So, let's do it together! Now on your screen you can see examples of our stunning charts. They are amazing, aren't they? You need to go to your WordPress dashboard. On the left side, click on Chart Build the plugin. Here you can see Add New button, so click on it. Chartify plugin provides you with 8 types of charts, so you can choose the type that you need. I will choose pie chart. Here you can see title field, so fill in your title. Chartify plugins also provides you with 3 sources for connecting your charts with Google Sheet or connect to database or manual data, so I will choose connect to Google Sheets. Here you can see this hyperlink, so click on it. As you can see, you need Google Client ID and Google Client Secret. If you already have Google Client ID and Google Client Secret, you can just fill in the fields, but if you don't, let's create them together. So, click on instructions, here you can see the steps how to create them, and click on the point one link. Okay, now you need to create a project if you don't already have it, so click on my project, click on new project button, here you can see project name field, so uh, add some name or just let that suggested one remain. I will let them remain and uh, click on create button. So our project is ready. Okay, now just once again click on my projects and choose a project that you just created. Now on the left side menu, uh, click on uh, Open Authorization Consent Screen and User Type Choose External. Here we have some fields, App Name field, um, just type in the name that you want and User Support Email, here type your email and copy that email. By scrolling down in Developer Contact Information, Email Addresses field, uh, paste that email. Click on save and continue button. Leave the next uh, two steps, scopes and optional information if you don't uh, fill that fields uh, by uh, clicking on save and continue button. After that is summary uh, of your actions, so if everything satisfies you, just click on back to dashboard button, after that click on publish app button and if everything is okay, just click on confirm. As our new made project is in the process, so I will do the next steps uh, with my uh, ready made project for not wasting your time. So click on credentials on the left side menu, uh, click on create credentials and choose open authorization client ID type. Here you have application type, so choose web application. After you have name field, just uh, you can write some name or let the uh, suggested one remain. After we have authorized redirected URI, so you can add it by returning back to your WordPress dashboard, uh, copying uh, from instructions the link and pasting it here. After that, uh, click on create. Now on your screen you can see your client ID and also your client secret. Just copy them and pass them on your dashboard. And on the dashboard, click on connect button. Here you can see your account, click on it. Click on continue button. And just make all suggestions enable. That's all. Now go back to your Google Cloud page and click on uh, Enable APIs and Services on the left side menu. On the top menu, click on Enable APIs and Services. 
Here you should uh, search Google Drive API and uh, Google Sheets API and enable them. After enabling your Google Sheets and Google Drive APIs, return back to your WordPress dashboard, click on Chart Builder on the left side menu, and choose a chart that you have just created. Here you can see live preview of your chart on the left side. So uh, click on connect to Google Sheets, choose the um, spreadsheet that you need. Um, the spreadsheet must contain two columns, one's names and one for values. So click on show results for uh, see the results, click on uh, show on chart button for uh, showing your spreadsheet on the chart and see live preview of your chart and click on save query button for saving all changes. If everything is ready, click on save and close button. Here you also can see short code. Um, uh, copy your short code as we want to preview your chart. Click on post all posts. Add a new button. Here you can see add title. So um, you can write some title, uh, for example, chart. And paste uh, your short code here. Click on preview. Preview in new tab. And that's all. Our chart is ready. So now you have a dynamic chart. Do some changes on your Google Sheets and you can see the results on your charts easily and meaninglessly. Thank you very much for watching us. See you soon. Bye.